24 has another brand new film coming out this weekend. Well, time to check it out. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing The Last Black Man in San Francisco. If you guys are new here, of course, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button where you guys get tons of early movie reviews on this channel, plus tons of other geeky content. And plus you guys can also go over to Sandwich on Films down below to find out how you guys can see films early. I was really looking forward to this movie because a lot of the buzz coming out of Sundance, especially, then you hear A24 picks it up. That's another big bonus. And I hear it's a directorial debut. So all that kind of centers around. I love these types of stories. And again, I went into it not knowing anything but just hearing that there was a lot of raving buzz about the movie. Last Black Man in San Francisco is about a young man who searches for his home in a changing city that seems to have left him behind and I gotta give a big shout out to Joe Talbot first. He is the writer director of this film and I think he did such an excellent job with his directorial debut. In fact the the, the fact that he even, that this is the directorial debut of him for a feature film is incredible on its own. Seriously a film that is thought provoking and overall, very unique to itself. I would say for the first 30 minutes, I wasn't locked into this film yet. In fact, maybe even the first hour. I was sitting there. I was watching it. I was enjoying it for sure. But I didn't get the point of it. I didn't understand what was going on. And I really liked the parallels. And I really liked the relationship between the two main friends that the story follows. But again, I wasn't into it yet. There comes one point towards probably the end of the second act leading into the third act that I got totally enwrapped and invested within the story and totally understood all the raving buzz about this movie. I'd go as far to say that I'm kind of in love with a lot of aspects of this film and what this movie has to say. Definitely tell that Joe Talbot put so much passion in here into the script, into the directing, but the story within here and all the messages that it's trying to tell and all the symbolism and the meanings, there's so much stuff to dive into. I think one of the things that really reached out to me personally and one of the messages that I absolutely got myself totally in love with was the story and the parallels between real life and what people look at you know there's so many different elements to someone or something that we never really understand we might know this person as a friend forever but we start to find out more things about them just things that we never th knew about them just from hanging out or being around friends or family of theirs and even lies maybe that they had told. And there's other parallels to that where if someone had died, there's things where you see on social media, people popping up all the time like, oh my God, rest in peace to this person. It's like, you didn't really know that person like I did. And I think we've all had that thought before where we see that on social media. And it's, there's so many different convoluting thoughts that, that this film, again, provokes into your mind but very much and so in such a grand way. I think even diving deeper into those meaningful moments, and one of the big highlights of the film, again, that dives into that same central message is there's a certain scene where a character, something gets revealed about him. And I sat there going, wow. It started getting me to think, and of course, again, since the story is about a young man searching for a home in a changing city, the story also wraps around certain elements of something that you might love never really accepting you like this city he loves his hometown he loves san francisco but does it love him back all loved someone or something but did it love us back and is it a loss for us if we leave that thing or that person or is it a loss for them or that thing there's a lot of things that made me this film made me just provoked in so many different ways and that's because of Joe Talbot's excellent writing and excellent directing in this. This film would be nothing without its two lead performances, and that is Jimmy Fails and Jonathan Majors. They both give an excellent performance in here, and probably two of the strongest performances of the year. Their relationship, their friendship that is bonded throughout this film, no matter what, through thick and thin, is one of the most unique relationships that I've personally seen through a film in quite a while. And in fact, it again leads back to that provoking feeling. It built up emotions by the and by the finale by that third act the second the ending happened i i you know was kind of in love again with their friendship and everything that had come full circle but it really goes down to both their performances i absolutely fell in love with both their characters that they portrayed and came off about and you can definitely tell that they infused real elements of themselves within these characters and that's something that i think this movie did so well is that 
I forgot I was in a movie. Like, I forgot I was personally watching a movie. I just felt like I was there with them. About each and every element of the story that's going along with them and enjoying the relationship as it grows and also just diving into the story with them and feeling each emotion that they might feel as well. Their supporting cast is excellent here. Danny Glover is great, Tichana, Arnold is great, Rob Morgan, Mike Epps, Finn Wartrock. Everyone really gave such an excellent performance that really just, again, elevated everything to its levels. While I really did fall in love with a lot of the aspects of Last Black Man in San Francisco, that was not my initial response to this film. I really had to think on this film. I really had to just sit there and contemplate in my car, drive home in silence and be left alone completely. But again, it has some of the best cinematography of the year and personally one of my favorite shots of the year. There's one shot of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is jaw-dropping in itself, but again, the cinematography is excellent, the score is great, but again, it goes all comes back around to full circle to Joe Talbert's directing and writing, which is superb. There are so many fantastic elements to this, a lot of thought-provoking moments to it, and this is definitely an A24 film that I think is super unique to itself, and I'm very happy that A24 picked it up. This is one that I'm curious to see if it gets any Oscar love towards the end of the year, and if it does, in fact, I hope A24 actually pushes it. But who knows, the year's still young. With all that said, I'm gonna give The Last Black Man in San Francisco a B plus. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this film. Are you guys excited for it? Are you not? Have you been looking forward to this film? And of course, A24, tons of more films of theirs coming out later this year. I'm curious to see what else comes out. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. And of course, make sure to go support your local indie films like this one this weekend. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy. <laughs>